The following tutorial will walk you through the initial steps for setting up H2O on Hortonworks Sandbox. The tutorial follows the assumption that the user already have Hortonworks Sandbox running on the machine and have Java 1.6 or a newer version of Java installed. After which, the second step is to download the current release of H2O through the link provided. Simply download the H2O zip file, then move the zip file to a directory that you can easily access. The next step is to copy the H2O zip file onto the sandbox. Boot Hortonworks Sandbox from VM and take note of the access information provided. Log into the virtual machine by hitting Alt F5 or Command Alt F5 if you're working on a Mac. Log in using the provided default username and password, which is root and Hadoop. Next, open up your computer's terminal and cd to the location of your H2O zip file. Then securely copy the zip file onto your virtual machine. Enter the password Hadoop when prompt, and the file should copy over to the virtual machine. Now going back to your Hortonworks Sandbox terminal, you can check to see if the file has actually been copied over. And if it has, simply run the command to unzip the file. From here, cd to the folder that has just been unzipped and subsequently to its subdirectory, the Hadoop folder. If you do an ls, you can see that there are a few H2O drivers available in the folder. For Hortonworks Sandbox, we're only focused on H2O driver underscore hdp2.0.6.jar. From here, you can actually change the number of nodes H2O will launch and the heap size of each node. Now run the command. When you see the final message of blocking until the H2O cluster shuts down, it means H2O has launched and it will stay launched so long as you don't kill the cluster. We can go to the Hortonworks Sandbox web browser, which is located at a local host 8888. We can go to the sandbox and actually look at the job browser and see that the instance of a show that we launch is actually a mapper task and you can track it on the job browser. Now you can access the H2O interface by entering the following address. Now you can start importing data sets and running models on it. So a short example of which, if you go to your file browser and locate your desired data set, you can actually go to H2O, select data, select import from HDFS, and type in HDFS. And of course, you can edit it until you get your desired location. So here I am importing an airline data set from Hortonworks Sandbox into H2O. Click it again, parse it into a hex format. Now that you've finished parsing your data set, you can start playing with the data and creating models for it 